What's up guys, here is Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to create a side navigation menu. This icon that opens the side menu present on our hair WordPress Teams and other Teams of our Visual Model engine. As you can see, you click on the hamburger icon and it opens a side menu that can be populated with widgets and displayed in a different methods and styles. So let's learn how to create it and customize it. Let me show you this site without the site navigation menu and how to enable this. First of all, move to our WordPress dashboard, visual model, theme options and under header you're gonna click at side navigation in the side navigation by default if we will, it will comes as no we're gonna click on overlay for dark background colors because on our case we're gonna use a black color and this also do not forget to see the color opacity the level of transparency of your color. This is also important in the case that you want to upload the background image, the opacity will make the image visible or not. So let's keep in this way and save changes. And after that, we need to populate the section at WP dashboard appearance widgets. Now here, we're gonna look at the side navigation tab. A new tab that's just gonna appear after you enable the side navigation menu under your theme options. And here you can apply any widget that you want. We're gonna start with this, the navigation menu, the default WordPress widget to call a menu that we previously have created. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here explaining how to create a menu in WordPress, but it's here at Appearance Menus. Let's call this menu entitled as Side Navigation and apply a couple of extra widgets. Just refresh the page to see. As you can notice, the menu icon is now visible and we can open the side menu before we get on it. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here for another video tutorial where I explain and show a couple of other widgets and ways to use it. But now, let me just add a more widgets at the side navigation, the visual mode of social icons. Just remember that in the case that you want to display your social account in this icon, you need to copy and post the entire social account URL, the page link. Let me apply some extra space. Perfect. Now, let me go back to the theme options in the side navigation and change from the overlay to push. What is push? In the overlay, the menu simply open and the page content is not affected. But as you can see in the push, we move the menu down. And the entire page content. It just do not move the slider built by Revolution Slider plugin because it needs to be reloaded to count the new size but other page contents are moved to occupy less space and 
just occupate the possible space. Now, let me move to full screen. As you can see now, the menu opens from the entire viewable page. It's beauty, but we need to change the way that we input our really gets. So, let's go back to WP dashboard appearance really gets and change it. First of all, with the visual model, social icons, we're gonna align it to the center. We're gonna remove the text or we can just apply a title or type some space to leave it empty but let me remove and to the navigation menu we're gonna remove that that is the wordpress default one and I'm gonna apply the visual model menu where you have a couple of more options and extra options to edit the menu and also align it the alignment, the colors, and the menu to call. Save change, and let us see the result. Awesome. Now, just apply some extra space before the menu, and it's done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question, and don't forget to see or visualmodo.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes with all those features. And all the best!